My name is Brian Sherry, 2727 West Gordon Street, Allentown, PA. Lifelong resident of Allentown, born and bred here, 40 years. My wife and I could live anywhere, have chosen to stay in Allentown, in the Lehigh Valley, and try and help give back to what we got out of the process from public schools, from public parks, from everything that we've done. I think uh, the biggest problem with this process is that things haven't been communicated very well. Mr. White, so what's the pathway actually going to consist of in, in the uh, Rose Gardens? In the, with this now center path. Yeah, it's called Echo Block. Uh, okay. so, so instead of, I mean, it, there was a question if it was going to be concrete. It's not going to stay. No, the, the walkways are uh, being made from um, the pavers from what was called Echo Block. Right. So I just think there, there's details such as that that could be answered more specifically. I feel, you know, nobody has said we do not want disadvantaged people, races, religions. I'm an avid user of the park, and anybody who doesn't thank General Trexler every day has no idea what he does to support the city of Allentown. We have problems as it is. Without General Trexler, I, I don't know what we do. I thank him every time I run past the statue. Um, <laughs> You know, if you go into any of the parks, which I do all the time, you see people of every race, religion, age, physical ability. No one's saying anything about it, but what they're saying is, I think it backfires when you say there's 500 people can play on this playground and thinking of it will be like, woohoo, instead of, holy crap, if that's four people per adult, that's going to be 125 cars or whatever the math is on that. And, you know, there are impacts of people who, while you're working with the greenways to make our streets safer for walking and riding, these are things that alarm people who, who live in and around there, whether they live downtown or whether they live right by the park. It's still going to increase the traffic flow, and I, I think that's part of it. I have a very specific question before I run out of time. Um, what, is, what is the cost on the playground and the surfacing and installation? We we have we do not have the final cost, but the estimate is approximately seven hundred thousand dollars. Okay, and I, that that's my question. There's a lot that needs to be done in a lot of the parks. You don't need to spend seven hundred thousand dollars to make not only an accessible playground but a destination playground. I speak for that because I do it for a living. I think the Neo Neos is nice, but I know it costs thirty two thousand dollars, and four kids can play on it. I just think that the money that's being spent there. Could have been spent to do a lot better things in a lot of the other parts. 